You're not supposed to see this, at least not yet, because what just leaked might be the most powerful and controversial move Caterpillar has made since it exited the on-highway truck market. Ladies and gentlemen, meet the Cat X24, a prototype engine so extreme some insiders are already saying it's too powerful to be road legal. But is it real? Is it coming back? And most importantly, would it even be allowed on U.S. highways? Let's find out. All right, quick context before we dive into the madness. Caterpillar stopped producing on-road trucks in 2016. The CT660 was supposed to be a game changer, but it didn't quite get the traction. So, when an image surfaced on a closed industrial engineering forum showing what appears to be a 24-liter twin-turbo diesel block with Caterpillar badging, the internet did what it does best. It exploded. Now, take this next part with a grain of diesel soot. The leaked specs claim this X24 prototype cranks out 2,050 horsepower and nearly 6,200 pound-feet of torque. That's not a typo. That's not tuned or modded. That's allegedly stock configuration. Let me put it in perspective. That's almost double the output of the Detroit DD16 or the Cummins X15, engines currently dominating the U.S. heavy-duty market. But here's where it gets even crazier. Reports say this thing is hybrid-assisted, a parallel electric boost system that gives extra torque under load, much like what you'd see in diesel-electric locomotives. Yep, this might be the first locomotive-grade truck engine ever proposed for highway use. Do you smell smoke? No? That's just the industry heating up. Now at this point, you're probably wondering, why? Why would Caterpillar build this monster if they left the road market almost a decade ago? Well, here's where it gets strategic. Caterpillar hasn't stopped building engines. They've just focused on off-road, mining, defense, and marine sectors. The X-24 could be a cross-platform project, and if it is headed for the road, it might be designed to meet emerging emission standards while still hauling 90,000 pounds across the Rockies like it's a bag of groceries. But there's a problem. And it's not just emissions or noise regulations. It's the law. Federal highway standards cap certain drivetrain outputs, especially when it comes to torque management and safety controls. At over 6,000 pound-feet, this engine would shatter most current drivetrain certifications, not to mention insurance underwriting. So is this engine even legal? That's the cliff we're standing on, and the ground's looking shaky. Let's shift gears for a second. Imagine this thing actually gets greenlit for use. Think about what that means for Freightliner, Kenworth, Peterbilt, even Tesla's Semi. We're not just talking about a return, we're talking about a reset of the entire heavy truck power race. And here's the real kicker. Caterpillar might not be aiming for fleets. This could be for owner-operators. A new era of independent power, designed to give individual drivers a competitive edge in long-haul, high-grade routes. Remember the 90s when people said 550 horsepower was overkill? Well, buckle up. We're talking over 2,000. And speaking of buckling up, how would you even mount this beast? The average chassis would need structural reinforcement. The driveline? Custom. Cooling? Aerospace level. We're talking about an engine that redefines what built to last even means. Now, if you're waiting for confirmation from CAT, good luck. So far, it's radio silence. No press release. No denial. No confirmation. But you know what that usually means in this industry? Something's coming. And here's the part that should really keep you up at night. If this prototype is real, if it's already running in closed track tests, then Caterpillar might already be 12 to 18 months ahead of the rest of the market. So now the only question left is, will this monster ever be allowed on the road? Or is it destined to be the king of off-road hauling, hidden from the public eye? Let us know what you think in the comments. Would you drive the X24? Or is this thing just an over-engineered PR stunt? Hit that like button if you want to see more leaked tech breakdowns like this. And subscribe, because next time, we might be talking about an engine that runs on zero fuel and still outpulls diesel. Yeah, it's getting real out here.